everybody how's it going you guys having a nice rainy sunday hey i got some japanese pokemon booster boxes that i'm going to show you and i'm going to go through a little bit of stuff here and tell you a little bit about them uh, i got a, a bunch of them in. i didn't get all the ones i ordered in and i ordered doubles of some but anyway let's start show you what i got show you why i bought these boxes this one here is called it's part of the ultra prism set you know time frame era whatever you want to call it and it's called sun ultra booster box that's what it's called and it has a code on it sm5s and that's right here see it and um they only have five cards per pack the car the packs are really thin they're like dollar pack thin see here's one here see how thin that is they're very thin because they only have five cards in them, of course. So anyway, here's what the box looks like. I put sticky notes on so I can keep track of stuff because I can't read Japanese, you know. Anyway, the artwork's nice. And you see the code, like I said. There's the, the, you got to go by the code. Start, you know, uh, teaching yourself. You get a habit of looking for that code because that's... That's going to tell you what, what box you got. Let me put a sticker on there. So this is what it looks like. I like the artwork. I like the fact that they're inexpensive and they're a little bit different. Something else to, to put money into, collect, resell, whatever. And there's the codes on the back. These all came from Japan. So that's, that is the Sun Ultra box. That's what it looks like. Okay. And then the next one I got, and there's no order, I'm just going around, I'm just going around the circle here. The next one is called GG End. Okay. It comes from like the Unbroken Bond subsets. It says SM10A on it, and I paid $70 for it. It's got I think Garatina Mega, is that who that is? And Garchomp? I don't think that's this is a regular Garchomp. Anyway, that's what it looks like on the front of the box. And you can see there's the SM10 there, A. I turn my light on so there's a little bit of glare on so you can see better. So that's what it looks like. The artworks are awesome on these boxes and here's what the codes look like on the back. So there's that one. And I bought like four of these. These are uh, from the Forbidden Light time frame, and I paid eight dollars for these. And, and and it's just Forbidden Light, Forbidden Light, as far as I'm concerned. It's, it's called SM6, and this is what it has on the front of it. It's the artwork. Again, it says five cards. Some of them say seven cards, and some of them have like twenty packs. Some of them have thirty packs. And here's the SM6. I forget which Pokemon that is. Reminds me of Arceus, some other version of Arceus that's on the front there. What is that? I, I forget. And then here's what the codes are on the back are. So again, these boxes are pretty cool looking. Okay, like I said, I put the sticky notes on to keep to keep the um, I can't read Japanese to keep them to keep them uh, separate in my mind. Now, obviously, this is probably Vivid Voltage because of. Look what's on the front. Pikachu. So, Vivid Voltage. I paid 96 It's called Volt Tackle. And has S4 on it. Is what it says on the box. It's hard to get off. And again, it's got five packs. Where's the S? S4. I think I told you, sometimes the codes are here, here... Here, it just depends on what era of the booster boxes that you bought, where they put the codes. As you can see, most of these are all in the same place because they're all they're some of the newer boxes. And here's the code numbers on the back. That's what the code numbers should look like. I'll also tell you, if you're going to buy from uh, sellers on eBay, pick people with high feedback. You need to have to pay a couple dollars more. i got stories to tell you about... Um, going through hell to get your money back because people send things to the wrong address or they just they just have all kinds of problems. So if you're buying stuff on eBay, pick people with better um, feedback. I, I got burnt. 
I, I didn't get burned. It took forever to get my money back and had to go through hell to get a measly $35 back because I bought one of these um, lunchbox tins and the seller sent it to the wrong address. But because it was delivered, eBay didn't want me to get the money back. So I had to go through hell through UPS to get proof that this was delivered to somebody else. I left the guy negative feedback, guy or girl, I don't know, and somehow that negative feedback got taken away. I don't know, maybe I like cursed during it, I don't know, but somehow my negative feedback went away, but eventually I got my money back. And the reason why I picked this low person, because he was a zero, and I figured, oh, you know, everybody needs a chance sometime to start out, so I'm like, he's a good price, I'll go buy and give him a favor. Man, I'm not doing that again. Somebody else could uh, go through the hell for um, buying something from somebody that doesn't know what the hell they're doing. So anyway, this here is another Unbroken Bonds. It's called Double Blaze. Reminds me of Darkness of Blaze. And it's called SM10. And I paid $75 for it. I bought a couple of these. That's a real nice looking front. This is a Charizard. Was that Reshiram or Kiram or whoever this is? I forget. Anyway, they put a sticker on here, and as you can see, it says SM10, and that's what it looks like. Sometimes you can't, you know, you just get these boxes the way they are. They might have a sticker on them. I don't really think it devalues it that much, you know. Anyway, here's what the codes. Well, you can't see the codes because they put a sticker on here. This is a really sharp box, in my opinion, you know. I mean, I like these even though they might not go up as much as something else. I'm going to give you a list of um, one, two, three, four, five, six Pokemon boxes I think are like, will shoot up better than the other ones. You know what I mean? And that's just my opinion and, so, and some other people's opinions too. So anyway, um, I think this would be good to pick up too, even though it's not on my list. Because I just, I like the artwork. And then I got, the next one is, it's an SM. 7a and it's celestial storm the subset is thunder clap spark and i paid 69 dollars for it and this is what it looks like it's pretty cool artwork not one of my more favorite ones but it's pretty cool i mean that's that's some damn good artwork and again it's five cards and here's the sm 7a that's what the sides look like I got pretty good deals on all these. Like I tell you, the best thing you can do when you buy this stuff is get as cheap as possible with as least amount of risk as possible. <clears throat> so there's that one. And then this one here has got Lugi on the front. I bought four of these. I forget what this Pokemon's name is. Okay. Anyway, I paid $108 for it. It's part of the Lost Thunder it's called Super Burst Impact. SM8. SM8. That's what it looks like. I paid $100 for this box. So obviously, it costs more. Here's the SM8. And um, I think it's, I like the artwork on it. You can't beat that giant Lugia. And this is actually on the list that I'm going to give you. And there's the codes on the back. This is if you guys want to buy these and, and for investments, that's up to you. I'm not recommending it. I'm just telling you what I've done. And I'm going to give you recommendations what I think is going to go up higher. Um, oh, sorry. This one here is paid $132 for it. This is Dream League. This is definitely on the list. Okay. This My list is not in an order. This may be the number one on the list if you had asked me personally. SM11B, it's part of the Cosmic Eclipse Enhanced Subset Set. It's a Dream League. And I'm not sure about all this. Uh, I've got some of this stuff online, so there could be mistakes in some, some of my stuff. I got, I got information off of Bulbapedia. Anyway, it's a real busy front. It's got all, this, all these Pokemon trainers on there and Pokemon. Again, it's five cards, and the set number's right here, SM11B. Focus camera, here you go. That's what it looks like. And I did a video the other day, and I showed you those cosmic uh, 
no, not cosmic. Those miracle twins, which is um, miracle twin. I forget. Um, what is miracle twin? Someone with Mew Mew two on it, and there's the codes. Miracle twin. Let me go look it up. So I'm gonna show you something anyway. <clears throat> Unified Minds, that's what it is. So here's what I go. I go to Bulbapedia and I look here, and this is all the Japanese stuff, and this is what I go by, and it's a mess. Good good luck figuring it out, because I've had trouble figuring it out. But that's where I go get my information on. So like Forbidden Light says it's Dragon Storm and Champion Road is the subsets that are under Forbidden Light. And I think even Forbidden Light is actually a set. So that right there is there's three sets under Forbidden Light by my thumb. That's how that works, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, next is Cosmic Eclipse Alter Genesis booster box. It's called SM12 and I paid $75 for it. So this is like part of the um, Cosmic Eclipse Miracle Twin section. And I bought a couple of these boxes because um, Dialga and Palkia is on there. And I think, well, I didn't even notice this. Arceus is on there too. He's like in the middle. You know, he sort of doesn't show up as much. I think that's Arceus. It's probably a shiny one because it's green. I don't know all this stuff. I'm just guessing. Five cards. And again, SM12 is the code on it. And like I said, I paid $75 for this, and I bought I bought a couple of these. And here's what's on the sides. I think these are these are good investments. All the stuff's gonna go up, and here's the codes in the back. So this was Miracle Twin, okay? And this was called Alter Genesis, and it has you know these Pokemon on it. And you remember the Miracle Twin had Mew and and uh, Mewtwo on there. So if you go to that section, which is Miracle Twin right here, it's down there. See, that says Miracle Twin, Remax Bout, Dream League, and then below it is Alter Genesis. So, I don't know, it's just confusing as hell to me, you know? See, because Cosmic Eclipse is the last one. Oh, you know what? I, I got it wrong. I, I was saying Cosmic, Epli Ke Cosmic Eclipse when I meant Unified Minds. Scratch that. So that isn't the same. The Alter Genesis is with Cosmic Eclipse, and then the um, Miracle Twin is with Unified, Unified Minds. That was a mix-up in my brain there. So anyway, I got a couple more boxes to show you. So this was not what I thought it was, as far as the same as... The Miracle Twins. It was one. It was one next to it. it. wasn't the same. It was next to it. So here's a nice one here. I bought a couple of these. It's got all three legendary birds on it. I paid sixty three dollars for this one. It's called. It's from the Unbroken Bond subset. It's called Sky Legends. Okay. It's got SM ten B. This is a nice booster box. I mean, you can't go wrong with those three legendary birds on the front. I mean, that, that that just jumps out at you. You know what I mean? I mean, compared to that to, like, what we get in our booster boxes, it's just not fair, right? There's the codes. So this is um, Unbroken Bonds subset Sky Legends. So, like, if I looked at uh, Bulbapedia, Bulbapedia, that would be... Where's Unbroken Bonds? Somewhere around here. Can't find it. Where the heck's it at? There it is, Sky Legend. See how hard it is? It's part of the, it's Double Blaze. Then they some talk about some family stuff. GGN, which I have, I showed you that, and then Sky Legend. And then I showed you the Double Blaze. So, that's supposed to be similar to Unbroken Bonds. It's got one, two, three, and that doesn't even include Great Detective Pikachu, whatever that is. I'm not sure what that is yet. I haven't, I haven't looked into that. So there's three booster boxes that are from the same sort of era or section that Unbroken Bonds would be from, or release date, whatever you want to call it. See how confusing that is? Anyway, I beat that with the dead horse. Just be aware of that if you go... You know, 
buying some Pokemon that's Japanese. So get this, right? So I showed you what these boxes look like. So then there's boxes that look like this. Yeah. So this box here, I bought this because I got it was a pretty good deal and I saved like $20. This is called S4A. Oh, I'll just put this up here so it's easier to see. So use my fingers. I paid $93 for this. It's Vivid Voltage Subset. High Clash Shiny Star V. High Clash Shiny Star V. So there's less packs in this. S4A. It's like a premium grade version or something. I'm not opening it because it costs almost $100. Also, too, I've noticed you can buy this stuff in... Um, this looks like it's Korean. I'll have to double check this. I thought I bought the Japanese version. This here looks Korean. Anyway, I paid um, $93 for this. So I'm getting myself worried here. And then this is what it looks like on the back. I bought some of this just to try it. To see what it was look, looks like. So... I'll have to like double check this because this sort of looks Korean. Uh, like I said, I can't read Japanese or Korean, but I sort of can tell what Korean looks like. So anyway, here's my picks. End of the video, okay? I think these are going to go up higher than some of the other Japanese um, boxes that are around the same price, around the same time frame. Tag Bolt, I bought two of those. They're $145 each. I bought some Miracle Twins. They were $63 each. They've gone up since then. I bought three Alter Genesis. They were $75 each. I bought three Dream Leagues. They were $135 each. Basically, they're like double these. That's how popular they are. And I bought four Super Burst Impact at $108. And I bought one Remix Bout at $84. I haven't got that one in yet. But anyway, I think these would be these here seem to be like... Um, people are thinking that these are going to go up higher because of the cards that are inside of them. So if you want to pick one... Just to own, and for investment or whatever, these I think would be better than some of the other ones. But it's still a crapshoot. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you guys have any information on Japanese videos that you want to share, just post it in the comments because I'm just learning this stuff. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.